Good evening from Xfinity Center, Maryland over Butler, 7965. This is Wayne Viner. This is Bruce Bosner, our special guest, Director of Instructions, Pat Conyers at BCC. Welcome in tonight. Thanks for having me. It's a great yeah, ball cool. game. Yeah, uh, golf that is, all right? One of my specialties in life. Yeah, but I Eddie, heard you like a it's Hall a rumor. of Fame, Hall of Fame. It's rumor. Okay. Pat, I'm going to let you make the announcement right here in front of the Terp Talk audience. Yeah, so I'm very pleased to announce that our very own Bruce Posner will be the, the 2018 recipient of the Earl Helens Mid-Atlantic PGA Sports Media Award. Uh, he was nominated by myself and went in front of a committee and was unanimously, unanimously voted the winner. And I couldn't be happier. He's, he's done a great job for a bunch of years, and it's, uh, it's nice to see him finally get the credit. Let me tell you, I could not be prouder. One of the proudest days of my life uh, to be honored like that. And, of course, Pat's helped me so much with all my golf play-by-play -play over the years. And we really do all the majors, the players, the President's Cup, uh, the Ryder Cup. Uh, we would throw in a few women's tournaments here and there. But, uh, Pat, I am really, really honored. Can't wait for the event in March, correct? Yeah, it'll, okay. it'll be March. Uh, it should be in Baltimore. It's going to be a great Black tie, Wayne. you got to get black tie. I've got it. I've got it. So I can go back to calling you an award-winning journalist, right. as usual. Right, let's get back to the game tonight. So what you think? I mean, you see Cowan have a career night. And this kid from Baltimore, Daryl Morsel, what was your take on the game? It was incredible. I mean, the atmosphere was awesome. I, you know, it's, I was telling you earlier, it's a, the, I hate to say it, it's the first time I've been here. Uh, to see the game live brought my son with me. We had a great time. It was it was electric, as you said. Just to give you a little background on Pat, uh, before he came to BCC, one of the most coveted jobs in the country, he worked with Sean Foley, who was the coach of the time of? Tiger Woods. And Tiger is coming back. And Ricky Fowler said he's hit the ball as far as he ever remembers. I, I, I hear he's moving well, which is probably the best thing. He's moving well. He's he's healthy. Um, word has it that he's hitting the ball well. We'll we'll see. You know, 72 whole events are a different ball game, but but at least he's he's looking good so far, and that's the first step. Up. Can he make those five footers though? Uh, who knows? Can he chip it? Can he putt it? Uh, right. Can he walk 72 holes? That's a that's yeah, a big key. Yeah. He might be able to hit the ball, but can he actually? play golf we'll find out Pat, it's we'll, late let me let you go thank you so much for coming down i know you got your kid with you so uh, thank you and we will be back on the viner consulting viner four gates post game show here at xfinity center in a moment all right all right and as we all know time is money that's where our fully managed approach to it can help with proactive remote monitoring and management we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Well, back here at Xfinity Center, Bruce, Maryland, 79, Butler, 65. You said it, Cowan, a career night, 25 points, 5 of 8 from the floor, 12 of 15 from the line. Cowan has 10 rebounds, a double-double, 5 assists, 37 minutes. We have to talk about the freshman, uh, Bruno Fernando, an electric 8 points, 4 or 5, a, a game-changer. Daryl Morse, so my guy, your guy, my guy from Baltimore, from St. Joe, all right? He's the man. Whoever, you know, nobody thought he would burst onto the scene like this. But this kid, I see his father beaming over there. Yep. This kid played lights out again. He guarded number 30, who had to have him, Martin, yep. by 25 pounds. And he guarded him tough. That's why he was in the game, to guard Martin. Well, these kids play. I mean, Morsell and Fernando deserve to be on the floor. Daryl Morsell, 13 points, 6 of 10 from the floor, 1 of 2 from beyond the arc. The steal and dunk sort of capped the end of the game there. Cowan hit a 3 from the, the G on Gary Williams' court back and there. And Morsell made a great steal, and boom, the game was over. The game was over. Now, Butler is a lot tougher, bigger than I thought this wide. Butler, listen, put it in the books. 
Butler will be an AC, I mean, uh, NCAA. Big East NCAA. They will be a yeah. big uh, NCAA tournament team. Mm. There's no question about it. Mm. This will be a big win four months from now. Mm. And uh, we took care of business at home. Right. Be yeah. interesting if we got to go up to Hinkle next year. I I'd don't like know. to go. Yeah, I'd like so to go. Would I. Hey, uh, the crowd was in it. The the Batman blackout thing. The 16, flag timeout. Sixteen thousand legitimate. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand three hundred and seventeen yeah. here right. this evening. And we're going to bring on Todd to talk some NCAA soccer with Bruce. I'm going to step aside. Todd Carton, welcome into the post game show. All right. What would the show be without Todd Carton? Todd, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, Bruce. baby. Good to see you. Good to be All here. Right, tomorrow night, big game. Sasha, I saw him the other day. Yep. He said the team is loose. They needed the break. Everything went their way. Who are they playing? I understand this Albany okay, team is the, tough. They're playing Albany. They're they're uh, you know AQ out, out of the America East. They're a solid team, fourteen five and three or something like that. Um, but the big thing for Maryland, I think tomorrow is that I think their back line is going to be fully healthy. I Donovan think the, Pines is back. Will be Chase playing. Gasper is right. back. So and you know. It, they were undefeated with that back line starting, so that that could be the big thing, the big factor for Maryland tomorrow. Yeah, a big game, five losses in a row. They got to score. Gordon Wild's been very frustrated, but they've been working with him. He told me they've watched an interminable amount of film yeah. with Gordon Wild to see how they can break him loose or make it happen. Now let's juxtapose, juxtapose to the hockey game. Yeah, uh, Maryland. Faces probably the hottest team in the country. Michigan in Michigan, uh, outside, outside of, of Connecticut. Con, yeah, yeah, who's undefeated for the season, but Michigan comes in on a roll. They've won, I think, 13 or 14, 14 straight, in a row. Uh, six straight shutouts. Uh, their goalie was is just off the charts. I think she's a senior this year. Uh, Swenson. That's what Missy said they have to solve. That's number one, and number but, two. Number two, she loves being the underdog, and yeah. Maryland is the underdog. All, I mean, they're the only unseeded team left in the in the right. tournament right now. They are, you know, you, you've got uh, UConn one, Michigan three, and Carol, Give uh, Carolina four. Give me two predictions on those games. Well, I I, I think that that they they both pull it out, um, and I get a trip to Louisville on Saturday to watch Good the move. championship on Sunday. All right, let's bring Wayne back in, Wayne. We got a football game on Sunday, Saturday. Thanks, Todd. Yes, this is a live edition of Turp Talk tonight. Yeah. Uh, football What's game. Gonna, I mean, is there, any, is there any chance they could pull this off, or is it highly well, remote? There's two games. Two teams are playing, so somebody's going to win. Probably not us. 17th-ranked Michigan State. They got wiped out last week at Ohio State. They're going to be mad, angry, and they're probably going to take it out on Maryland. As you said before, the best thing that can happen this season that it will end. Yeah, and, it will end. And, and uh, I think the Penn State game, if we're going to win a game, it's a Penn the Penn State one. game at home. It's going to be a big deal, even though Penn State's lost a few. So we're going to – hey, we have a special guest supposed to come on on uh, Saturday. If yes, you want. we got uh, Commissioner. Commissioner. Interim AD, is that his name? Yes. Is that his role? That is. All right, Damon Evans, a wonderful guy. Uh Probably, if there's a change, which it seems like there is, yeah. he's got a darn good chance at the role. Right. He's a tell, tell, give a little bit of his background at Georgia. Uh, he, you know, Georgia's a football school, a football factory. Uh, Damon Evans was the AD there for a while. Uh, he left uh, due to some uh, unfortunate circumstances, but he comes here. He helps out Kevin Anderson. He's the guy who hires Dirk and runs that search committee. And if Maryland's going to be a football school sometime down the road, it's good to have a football guy running things. But tonight, it's all about being a basketball school. It was a basketball school. He saw it tonight. When they burst out, I think the game was over when they played Sweet Caroline. Yeah. I'm telling you. This place it's went just, absolutely, it's just absolutely a great nuts. Just Do they a know great my place. granddaughter's name is Caroline? Maybe that's it. No, maybe that is. Right. Uh, it's your night, but I don't know if it goes that far. No. And I think we're going to wrap it up here. Maryland takes down Butler. Uh, Big, Ten, uh, Big Ten Big East Challenge Night Gavit Tournament. And it was great to see. We will see you, or you can listen to us, on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on 1300 CBS Sports Radio, WJZ, AM in Baltimore. And then we'll be back here on Saturday night. Maryland tips off 8.30 against Buck Bucknell. Bucknell, the bite is a bison? The bison, a buck. Very good, the bison, right. a buck now. So, Bruce, say good night. Good night, everybody. Drive safely home, and uh, thanks for catching our video, as always. And uh, thank you to Viner Consulting for the sponsorship. 
and of course uh, the construction company. Oh, of course, it's Meyer, Meyer Consulting, Consulting Engineers Consulting. of Rockville. We'll see you on Friday.